All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that I ask every single one of you to go ahead and do is plot the points. And again, when I see students that are stuck, the first thing that I see that they have not done is plotting the points. So please plot the points, especially when you're given you know, four, four sets of um, two sets of point here. So the foci are at negative 3, 1, 2, 3, uh, 0, and negative 3, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then to avoid confusion, make sure you guys label them. Those are your two foci. Automatically, just from there, I know what my transverse axis is. Because, Tyler, remember that the transverse axis based on there, where that's where the foci, my vertices, and my center lie. So I can automatically draw a nice line that represents my transverse axis. Therefore, automatically, by now, I already know the equation of what type of equation that I'm going to have. I'm sorry, it should be a y squared. I have a vertical transverse axis. So my equation is going to look like this. Done. All that information just by plotting two points. I didn't even have to do anything yet, but that's what I've already figured out. Then I can go and plot my two vertices, which is at negative 3, 9. So negative 3, 9, and negative 3, 2. So I go ahead and label those as my two vertices. And remember, I know that they label on my uh, transverse axis, so that is correct. Um, now the next thing is I need to find the center. And remember, just for like ellipses, the center is in the middle of your two vertices. It's in the middle of your two covertices. It's in the middle of your two foci. So there's a couple different things you guys can do. You can, you, know, you can just count to find the middle. But the purpose of this kind of problem is sometimes counting doesn't always work, um, Evelina. What a lot of times we can do is use the midpoint formula. So if you're using the midpoint formula between these two points, if you guys remember, the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. That will give you the midpoint for each one of these. And if you guys notice, if I do the midpoint of negative 3 and negative 11, when I do the midpoint formula, I get negative 3, negative 5.5. And if I do the midpoint of my two vertices using that formula, I get negative 3. Uh, that's going to be negative. That should be the same as far as those two vertices. 1, 2. Why are my two vertices? Why is that? Give me see. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the midpoint for that it still should be, that's going to be 7. So it's going to be 3.5. Foci is negative 3, 5.5. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the vertices is going to be at negative 3. That's going to be 7. So that's going to be negative 3.5. Why is that? What did I make mistake? What did I do wrong? Could you actually move up here, please? Um, you're actually lost that chair forever. Um, mathematically, vertices and the foci, so negative 3.5, negative 1, 2, 3. Oh, I'm an idiot. No, it's negative 5.5. That's negative 11. All right. I was thinking, uh, I was different to those. You add those negative 9 plus negative 2 is negative 11. Divide by 2 is negative 5.5. OK, so do you guys see how the center is the same? So remember, that's your h, that's your h, and that's your k. So now we need to figure out what is a. a is the distance from the center, which is right there, to my vertices. Well, if I'm at negative 2, if I'm at negative 2, and I'm going to negative 5.5. Therefore, a is going to be negative 3.5. So I can say a is equal to, I'm sorry, a is just 3.5. Um, I don't know what uh, b is, but I do know what c is. And c is the distance from, again, your foci to your center, which would be 5.5. Remember, the equation is a little bit different. So I found a and c. However, to write this equation, I need to know a and b. So therefore, I can say c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So we have c squared, which is 5.5 squared equals a squared, which is 3.5 squared, 
plus b squared. Then I'll just go ahead and solve for b using my calculator. And I get 5.5 squared is 30.25. 3.5 squared is 12.25 plus b squared. And then you go ahead and subtract them, and you are going to be left with 18 equals b squared. Um, so 18 is going to be our b squared. Now, we know what a squared is, which is 12.25, and we know what b squared is, and we now know our h and our k. So now I'm just going to plug everything into my formula. So I have y minus k, which is a negative 5.5, so that's plus 5.5 squared. That's over a squared, which is 12.25 minus x minus our x minus h, which is negative 3, so that's plus 3, squared over b squared, which is 18, equals 1. Done. Wasn't that bad, was it?